yes, yes. How did you get involved within this event? Oh, Ashley's my sister-in-law. Okay. So she asked me for help. Every time she asked me for help when she's doing youth events, I'm usually making pasta legos. Okay. But today she asked me to do um, shish kebabs. Okay. So whatever she needs, you know what I mean? I love to feed the youth. So that's one of the things that I like to do. Understood. It's my passion to cook, so it's my passion to feed the youth. Why not? Everybody needs it, right? Yes, yes, yes. There you go. It's, why is it so important? I mean, right now, Ashley believes in a movement, and I believe her movement with her. So I'm like, you know what I mean? It's a family that eats together, stays together, and she wants to bring family to the community, and I want to be a part of that. Understood, understood. But the last question is, what does Buffalo need in order to continue to be the great city that we are? Events like this, family-orientated events. I want to say community, hands down, we all got to stick together, no matter what. We're, what part of Buffalo, we just got to stick together. You know what I mean? We can't let the man take us down. Yes, ma'am. Well, with that being said, I want to say thank you. Yeah, no and I look forward to coming over here to grab me a sister Bob. So, thank I, you. I was about to say, I just put some out, but uh, they're gone. I, I'm willing to wait I'm, for a I'm nice here. hot person. My name is Real Mason. I'm the Director of Community Engagement at Best Self Behavioral Health. Um, here at the Team oh Block Club. I think events like this is super important for our youth um, and the youth that look like us is important for them to see representation of the professionals in this community that are here to support them as well as for them to know of the resources and opportunities that are here for them and so that's why I'm here today along with my son um, and so I expect to be back every year I expect Best Self to be present every year um, and as we grow in the community I want to make sure that we're here supporting the great work that Ashley Watson has done um, and just these folks who have come together to make sure that this event was a success for the youth. I think that we need a lot more financial resources for the youth in this community um, and the adults. Just, just Buffalo in general, we need a lot more financial resources, especially in our communities, the black community. Historically, we have been impoverished um, and we have been academically and, and, and socially underprepared and we have uh, fought hard to combat those things and we do well. But we know that it's not equal for us. Um, and so for that reason, I'm here supporting. And so anything that is needed, I'm gonna be a part of it. Um, I think what we need also is more events like this. We need the city to support more events like this. So I'm happy that the city of Buffalo did support this. Um, a lot of the great organizations, we need folks who know more about organizations like this. Some of the grassroots organizations as well. We need more communication. That's what we need. We need more communication and more collaboration in our community. And hopefully this is a great start. Um, and I hope to be a part of whatever um, Ashley does and the organization and any other organization that's out there or a black leader or a leader in our community period that has um, an event that has the same goal. I would like to partner. How did you get involved with this event? Um, I am a youth engagement coordinator at the Erie County Restorative Justice Coalition. Uh, as part of that coalition, Real Talk um, kind of extended the invitation to us to be a part of it. And why is the work that you're doing, and just like any other vendor, so important? Well, I think the work that we're doing is important because we give youth an opportunity to make connections, um, be more self-aware, express themselves, and we honestly listen to them with an open heart, and I feel like that helps them feel more confident. What else would you want to see, or do you think is the need? within the city of Buffalo? I think a strong need within the city of Buffalo is number one for all of us to be less siloed. I think that um, a lot of us are doing really important work, but we kind of get so caught up in that work that we're not able to connect with one another. And I think um, as far as my job and what I'm doing is concerned, I think we need to give more youth opportunities to hear their voice. We need to censor their voice. Um, so that they are truly empowered and they can start to make those wise decisions for the future that they see. Understood, understood. Thank you for your time. How did you hear about this event? Uh, my cousin and her girlfriend uh, created the event, so they asked us to participate and help them volunteer and join. Okay. And as you serve as a vendor at this event, why do you believe the work that you do is so important? Um, well, I work for the American Red Cross. So my work, I believe, is important because I help save lives. We take blood out. People donate blood. It helps them, you know, a bunch of people save their lives with blood donations. Understood, understood. And with the last question, what does Buffalo need in order to continue to be the great city that we already are? 
Um, I think we just need to start doing better, start getting along better, stop all the crime and all the nonsense that's going on. Um, just get together as a better, stronger community like we used to be, like because it's just too much going on right now. So we just need to start doing better. Understood, understood. Hi, my name is Z. I'm with the Buffalo Homestead Parks Conservancy, and today I'm telling everyone more about the park system in Buffalo as well as about the Homestead Parks Conservancy. And we also have the Young Professionals for Homestead Parks program, a professional development program to learn more about the nonprofit industry as well as networking and have and learning more about each other. And we also have upcoming movie nights, so definitely check them out. See you in the parks. Bye! How did you get involved with the, this event? Oh, okay, so I know Ashley Watson. I used to actually work under her um, for an organization, and she has amazing leadership. And because of our work relationship, we were able to continue to be friends outside of work. And I work for a whole other organization, and she's still my friend. Understood, understood. With you serving as a vendor at this event, why is what you do so important? Oh, okay, so um, here we are making stack bracelets with different crystal beads, and each crystal has a certain kind of energy about it, and crystals um, are in our body, and they're in the earth, and they're all around us, so to bring that good energy to self, that's important, so I wanted to have a space where the young people could tap into that kind of energy, and to keep something like that, that they made and put together themselves with them and everybody. Understood, understood, thank you. What else do you think Buffalo needs to make the city as great as it already is? I think we need to just continue to focus on the true meaning of love, of a God thing, and the true meaning of community. Understood, That's understood. the biggest thing that can help this whole entire city heal. Understood. Well, thank you. How did you hear about this event? My aunt is one of the point. Okay, okay. What does Buffalo need in order to continue to be the great city that we are? Honestly, less violence. Less violence? Because, like, because, like, a whole bunch of kids, a whole bunch of kids that aren't, that aren't, that should not be losing their life. Like, a whole bunch of kids that should not be losing their life that young. How did you hear about this event? Well, it was presented to me by my brother. He is the owner of Lockdown Security, so I came out, showed my support to him, and worked with him. I've been working with him for like a couple of months now. Understood, understood. And the work that you do with your brother, why is that so important? It's important to provide community service to people out here, like make sure they're safe, make sure that they feel some type of you know, feel protected while we're here, sense of relief, like nothing's going to happen. If anybody gets hurt, that's where I come in as EMS. Uh, if, it's, if just need a Band-Aid, just to provide a Band-Aid, medical services, and make sure they are right. What does Buffalo need to continue to be the great city that it already is? Buffalo needs to continue to be just the city of good neighbors, love each other, stop all this hating, stop all this killing. As us as, you know, black people, as it is hard on us. We need to come together more, bring each other up, stop tearing each other down, and just stop defeating one another. Like, come up with different platforms so these kids can stay off the streets, so the drugs can stay off the streets. Provide more jobs so everybody could be good. Like, we all need to look out for each other. Like, what it is, we need more love, we need more peace, and we need more positivity like this. Understood. Well, thank you once again, and I hope you enjoy this event. Thank you. Thank you. How did you hear about the event? Well, we're a part of the event committee um, with, the, with Real Talk, so we pretty much help organize and plan and get everything together. So yeah, we're a part of the event committee. Yeah, pretty much. We're the event planners. Understood. Yeah, so we handled the, uh, the flyer. We made the, um, the graphics for the flyer. We helped plan the event, set everything up today um, alongside Real Talk. Why do you believe your work that you're doing now is so important? I feel like we got a lot to give back to the community. Um, a lot of the stuff we offer is mainly to build with the community. Like we do a lot of community events, like community barbecues, 
um, which all goes into the part of the event planning that we do. So we plan a bunch of community events. Every year we do a Juneteenth event. Uh, we do artist showcases to highlight the different artists in Buffalo. Um, besides that, we do the dance classes, you know, giving the teens something to do other than being outside, doing something they're not supposed to do. So we got our teen dance classes starting up. Everybody that signed up here today coming for free, um, giving away basketball. So we're trying to find something to keep them active in a more positive way to guide them away from the negativity that could be outside of the neighborhood. You know what I mean? What does Buffalo need in order to continue to be the great city that we already are? We need more love, we need more respect, we need bridges, connections, and we need everybody to just come together, pull together, and spread love. Like, that's really what we need in this community. That's we right down the block from top. So this is the community that we need to serve, and Buffalo is where it's at. Like you said, I can't, there ain't not much to add on to it. Exactly what you said. More love, more respect, more peace. Everybody out and show more love and be less violent. And showing up for the team. This is why we're doing a team block party. It's not enough services, it's not enough people showing up for teams. So we're just glad to be able to help and be a part of this to help put this together with Real Talk. Shout out to Match Hustle, shout out Real Talk, and all the, um, all the vendors that showed up today. We appreciate y'all. Understood. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview once again, and I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the event. Yes, you too. Thank you.